Hello friends and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. In this tutorial, you will learn about the material UI dialog component for creating interactive dialog or model pop-up in a React application. This is how the page will look like after implementing the dialog component. So, without delaying, let's get started. I have created a folder called MUI-Dialog and have opened VS Code inside that folder. Now let's create a new React app. Go to Terminal and run the command npx create react app react-MUI-Dialog which is our project name followed by dash dash template space type script. Let's wait until the command completes. Once the command is completed, let's run the application. For that, navigate inside the project folder cd react mui dialog and run the command npm start. So our application is up and running. In the next step, head over to MUI.com, go to Docs, Material UI and then Installation. Under Installation, copy this command, go to Terminal. In the new terminal, just paste the command and run this. Once this is completed, let's go back to the website and copy the command for icon. Then come back to the terminal, paste the command and run this. Once the command is completed, within the source folder, go to the app.tsx file and remove the div containing the class name app. Now, let's add a button in order to open the dialog pop-up. For that, we will import button from MUI. Below, let's add a fragment and within that fragment, we'll give button. Open dialog. We'll give variant as contained. To create a dialog, we need a couple of components from material UI. So at the top, import dialog, dialog title. Dialog content, dialog content text, and dialog actions. Let's first invoke the dialog component. 
Within dialog component, let's add dialog title component. Let's give the text as contact us. Below that invoke dialog content and within dialog content invoke dialog content text. Let's write the text. Are you sure you want to join? Next, let's invoke the dialog actions. Within this, add the buttons Submit and Cancel. Give the variant as Content. And for Cancel, let's give Color is equals to Error. Now let's take care of the accessibility. On the dialog title component, add ID is equals to dialog title. Next, on the dialog component, add aria labeled by is equals to dialog title. Similarly, on the dialog content text, add ID is equals to dialog content and on the dialog component, add aria described by is equals to dialog content. Now, go to the top and import use state from React. Now let's create a state variable. We'll call it open set open. And initial value as false. Next in our button, let's include on click event open dialog. Define this function. Set open passing in true. In the dialog component, we have to use open option. Give the same variable open. Similarly, let's write another function for closing the dialog pop-up. And mark this value as false. In the dialog component, let's give on close is equals to close dialog. Save this and let's check in the browser. So, on click of button, we are able to see the dialog pop up. Let's increase the size of this dialog pop-up. For that, we have to give full weight in the dialog component. So, now it looks better. Next, on click of this cancel button, let's close the pop-up. Go to the code. In the cancel button, we have to give the unclick event and include the function close dialog. Okay, now let me just change the color of the submit button. I'll give color is equals to success. The color changed. So we have completed the basic dialog. Now let's add form fills to our dialog pop-up. I'll just come in this dialog content text. Then remove this aria described by Go to the top and import stack. Within the dialog contained, let's invoke stack component. We will give spacing 2 and margin 2. 
Let's add the first text field. Variant as outlined. Label name. Similarly, I'm going to add two more controls, email and message. For message, we will give multi-line and row as four. So now you can see that our contact us form is ready. On click of cancel button, the dialog pop-up gets closed. Now let's add a close icon on the top. For that, in our code, go to the top and import icon button. Come down and after the text, contact us, invoke the icon button. We'll again go to the top and import close icon from material UI. Then within the icon button, we will add the close icon. The icon has appeared right beside the contact us text. Let us move this icon to the right hand side. We'll give the style float right. Looks perfect. Next on the icon button, we'll give the on click event and call the function close dialog. So guys, with this we have completed this tutorial. Please let me know your feedback in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.